Hey guys, today we are going to look at the running form of Mo Farah, one of the greatest long distance runners in the world, as he runs the 5k in under 13 minutes. I made a previous video simply showing his running form during that race, but today we are going to look at it in more detail. I personally enjoy watching the running form of long distance runners like Mo Farah because many aspects of their form is built on efficiency. As you'll see, this is an underlying theme of different aspects of his running form. Let's start at the head. As you can see, he maintains his head in neutral position throughout the race. Keeping it in this position reduces forces acting on the neck and allows him to keep it stabilized to minimize any energy leakage to occur as he runs. The next thing we will look at is his trunk. As you can see, he doesn't really bend his trunk forward, but rather he does keep his entire body slightly shifted forward throughout the race. Doing so allows gravity to assist his body to give him momentum moving forward. Now, let's take a look at his arms. Similar to other elite long distance runners, he doesn't demonstrate that huge forward and backward motion of the arm. You can see more rotational movement going on in these arms. The purpose of this rotational movement are to allow him to counteract the rotational forces produced in his legs to minimize excessive lateral movement and maintain a straight path to run as efficiently as possible. Next, let's take a look at the movement of the legs as a whole. This is one of my favorite aspects of his running form. As you can see, there is a very smooth cyclic movement going on. If you trace the movement of the feet, you can see a smooth circular pattern. Maintaining this circular motion allows for the most efficient path for propelling himself forward, as this allows him to utilize the elastic properties of the muscles and the ligaments. Now, let's look at different components of the legs. Looking at the hips, you can see his foot lands right under the hips. As I continue to emphasize in basically every running breakdown, having the foot land right under the center of gravity, which is right under or slightly in front of the hips, allows for the most efficient muscle activation to occur at the hips from a biomechanical standpoint. Let's move down to the knees. As you can see, throughout the running cycle, his knees stay slightly bent. This allows for improved force absorption to allow him to run for prolonged distances while minimizing stress acting on the knee, as well as maintain a smooth progression as he transitions through the stance phase to the swing phase in the running cycle. Finally, let's look at the feet. If you look closely, he lands right around the mid. Landing around this area allows him to make smooth, quick transitions from accepting weight on the foot to propelling himself forward. And that was my quick analysis of Mo Farah's running form. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you for watching.